welcome back to the channel. Today I need to talk about something super important and frustrating that's been happening to my YouTube channel, Cyberpod Mark II. It's not something I usually discuss, but I've been hacked multiple times and it's honestly been driving me crazy. I know many of you out there might be facing similar problems, so let me break down my whole experience, what might have caused it, and why YouTube really needs to step up its security game. But section one, the search for an iOS jailbreak. So a little background before we get into the hacking incidents. For the past few years, I've been looking for an iOS jailbreak specifically for my iPad 9 and iPhone 12 Pro. I was searching like crazy to find something reliable. And in 2021 and 2022, I finally found the Dopamine app. I was excited because with jailbreaking, I could finally customize my device, use apps like Flip -a Clip Plus for editing videos and uh, access tools that would help with my content creation. Now, here's where things started to get a little sketchy. Uh, during my search, I, I came across a lot of iOS tutorial videos, some of which were from Indian content creators or just other sources that seemed a bit shady. Uh, I don't want to generalize or point fingers at anyone in particular, but there are definitely some questionable tutorials out there that might expose you to risks. I think that's where I may have first encountered some of the issues that led to my channel getting hacked, which is still pointless how that thing's happened and I might have to use backup channel for it. Section two, multiple hacking incident. And here's the crazy part. My channel has been hacked not once, not twice, but four times. Each time something different happened and it just kept getting worse. Let me break down each of these incidents for you. First, someone hacked into my account and completely turned my channel into a platform for promoting Cardano, which is a cryptocurrency. Suddenly, all my videos and playlists were either gone or replaced with these scammy looking crypto promotions. Imagine waking up one day, logging into your account and finding that everything you've worked on has disappeared. It's honestly heartbreaking. Then it happened again. This time my channel is hijacked for a Bitcoin scam. If you've been on YouTube lately, you might have seen channels or streams pop up out of nowhere promoting these cryptocurrency schemes. It's like they just use hacked accounts to push their scams and target innocent people. It's the third time is probably the scariest. Some Russian hacker tried to gain access to my entire Google account. Now we're not just talking about YouTube here. My whole Google account was at risk. That includes Gmail, Google Drive, everything. It could have been a disaster if I hadn't caught it in time. And finally, just today, I noticed that my channel had uploaded some Jetter A5 scam videos without my knowledge. It's honestly wild that they can do this without triggering any red flags on the platform. These hackers somehow bypass the capture verification, which is supposed to prevent this exact kind of thing from happening. Section three, the spam bots and additional concerns. I've also heard from others that spam bots might start appearing on my channel. And after all these hacks, it wouldn't surprise me at all. YouTube needs to take spam bots seriously because they can flood a channel with fake comments and make the entire experience for both creators and viewers pretty miserable. If this starts happening to me, it's just gonna add to the list of things that YouTube should be fixing. Account separation and profile pic picture issue. One weird thing I've noticed is that after all these hacks, YouTube seems to have split my main account from the platform itself. I'm not exactly sure how or why this happened, but it's caused some issues. My profile picture remained unchanged even when everything else on my channel was being messed with. It's like parts of my account are stuck and I can't figure out how to get it all back to normal. A section five needs to improve. So what's the point of all this? The point is YouTube really needs to step up their game when it comes to protecting their creators. I'm not even using my channel to make money. I'm doing this for fun, for entertainment. I want to make parody series like Angry Dominican Kid or Angry German Kid and even start my own show called Cyberpod Origins. 
but instead of focusing on creating content, I'm dealing with hackers turning my channel into a scam platform. This isn't how it should be. And let's talk about security for a second. If hackers can bypass CAPTCHA, well, what's the point of having it? It's supposed to be a layer of protection, but if someone can just walk right past it, then it's not doing its job. And why am I the one left picking up the pieces? Every time my account gets hacked, YouTube should be making sure this doesn't happen in the first place. Section six, what needs to be done? Honestly, platforms like YouTube need to be more proactive in protecting their users. There should be better tools for preventing these kinds of hacks, and they need to be more responsive when something does happen. I've heard some people suggest that cases like mine should be escalated to law enforcement, like the FBI or cybercrime units. And honestly, at this point, I wouldn't disagree. Hackers like this aren't just messing with my content. They're violating my privacy and could be doing the same to thousands of others. Something needs to change. It's like get rid of GTA 5 scams, Bitcoin scams, and all these bots out of YouTube. So it wouldn't be something for people to fall for it or something else that you accidentally like the video or subscribe to a YouTube scammer channel. It should have been prevented at all costs. You have already seen proof that I don't upload this video on my channel. Yeah, it's a virus since my fans were right about this. Section Seth, final thoughts. In the end, I just want to get back to doing what I love, creating videos, making people laugh and sharing my passion for tech and entertainment. I don't want to spend all my time worrying about whether my account is going to get hacked again or spamments are going to flood my comments. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thanks for listening to me rant about all this. If any of you out there are dealing with similar issues, drop a comment below and let's talk about it. Maybe together we can push for some real change in how platforms like YouTube handle security. Thanks for watching. And if a hacker involves to steal content from other content creators, including all of my videos, then I guess this has to stop. I don't want to allow that to happen without my permission or giving me a credit. So I'm going to let some of the people to deal with the content theft with copyright takedowns. But I'm not going to mention his name because I don't condone any kind of harassment on this video. That's all for now. But please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you guys in the next video. This is Cyberpod Mark 2 signing off, and thanks for listening.